Thursday's market sit rep here at Topkin Options Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO and the G Summit. Uh, starting today on a little bit of a chilly foot, uh, President Putin uh, called uh, John Kerry a liar. Uh, they are amassing uh, their own naval forces in the eastern Mediterranean, and Putin has said that, hey, the S-300 uh, air defense system that we uh, were sending to Syria, we're going to send more and fully uh, make it operational and also consider uh, sending it over to Iran, our buddies in Iran, so they can continue to build their nuclear weapons. This is spinning out of control pretty quickly, folks, and it, it really is a result of just feckless diplomacy uh, a world bowing tour that has only made uh, the world laugh at us uh, even more. And it's just, it's going to get a lot of American kill, uh, Americans killed someday, folks. It's just, it's breaking my heart to see this happen. Um, but you know what? Told you so. Uh, that's that's what it's going to come down to. We're going to have an I told you so moment. And, uh, and I'm not even going to have to say it. You're going to know it. Uh, we brought this upon ourselves. Uh, you know, it, when when uh, Santa Claus is running for office, that's who I guess uh, idiots vote for. All right, folks. Uh, all eyes tomorrow are on the unemployment rate, right? Obviously, non-farm payrolls come out tomorrow, and uh, we saw today we got uh, ADP numbers that came out. ADP uh, numbers. That's a private. You know, obviously, the numbers tomorrow come out from the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, ADP, non-farm payroll, private company, came out with a buck seventy-six, a grand over their uh, their forecast of a buck seventy-five, a little revision down uh, from last month's yawn. Weekly unemployment claims, kind of a yawner uh, as well. Uh, revised non-farm productivity and labor costs, a little less uh, than forecast. And we got some non-manufacturing PSI, uh, uh, PMI, which was really good, the August uh, ISM soars to 58.6, and that's the highest since 2005, biggest two-month surge uh, in uh, history. So here's what's interesting. So we see something like this, like a surge in ISM, but then you see this unemployment uh, report uh, that came out from Gallup, okay? This is... Uh, this is very disturbing. This is seasonally adjusted, seasonally adjusted unemployment numbers. And the uh, BLS, uh, our government takes, uses seasonally, uh, you know, factors and this and the weather and all sorts of stuff. So it's, it's not an exact science out of the BLS. But uh, Gallup does a pretty damn good job. Uh, and look at this. The uh, Gallup uh, unemployment report came out at 8.6%, and it's 1%, a full 1% over the BLS uh, number. A little more than uh, 1%. Isn't that absolutely incredible? So according to Gallup, right, adults over 18, this BLS data include adults 16, right? This one's 18-year-old, so the BLS includes 16-year-old. Look at that. A massive, massive spike uh, in unemployment. So uh, not good, right? Uh, so tomorrow, as I said, is a huge day. That's why we're kind of flopping around in the market right now, not going anywhere. Uh, even with a, a good number on ISM, people are just kind of keeping their powder dry for tomorrow and the non-farm payroll numbers. But let's think through this analytically, guys and gals. Uh, we have a good unemployment number tomorrow. Market's going to go down, in my opinion, or at least hang out. Why? Because then the easing is f absolutely certain. We have good numbers tomorrow. The Fed is going to ease uh, in a couple weeks here, September uh, 17th and 18th at their FOMC meeting, right? Uh, numbers in line, same thing. Really bad or, or bad numbers, same thing. Really, really bad, same thing. So I really don't think, you know, usually this number for the past, uh, you know, seems like century that the Fed's been involved in this market, usually it's pretty important, right? Because bad numbers meant good for the stock market. Well, the Fed's not going anywhere. Unemployment sucks. Party on. Market goes higher. Now we're starting to, uh, we're, we're in this weird transition zone from bizarro market where good news is good news, bad news is good news, and awful news is great news. And we're transitioning back to, quote, normal market, where good news is good news, bad news is bad news, and horrible news is horrible news. 
So get ready for that. We might actually start seeing the transition tomorrow when this unemployment report comes out. I, and I say a transition because if there's good unemployment numbers, I don't think the market rallies. I think we're still in this this Fed fog of wandering around going, wait, is this good? Is this bad? Not for months. Not for not until after the Fed really starts to taper will a jobs report actually be an old jobs report, right? Where, hey, good employment numbers is good for the economy and the stock market. Yay, we go up. That's not going to happen for a while, folks, in my opinion. Okay, because like I said, we're in bizarro market transition back to normal market uh, and it's going to be very, very choppy. So uh, good stuff going on, though, uh, in our TGO and wealth creation with options model portfolios, uh, trade alert uh, portfolios up about eleven hundred bucks today. Looking at uh, really good gains uh, throughout the portfolio. Obviously, one of our hedges or our bets that the market's going to go down is a little pink. But who cares? That's my uh, uh, semi insurance policy. Right. Always have a couple of these hedges. I have bilge pumps in my aircraft carrier, folks. If I'm going to take a torpedo out of the blue, I'm not going to sink, uh, and neither should you. Okay. Hey, make sure you check your email. Uh, we have a. Uh, we're going to be doing some trader debriefs, uh, and this is because uh, you all asked for it. Okay. You said, hey, you know, I, I really would like uh, to speak with somebody, maybe customize a, a specific training plan around me, not a one size fits all. And I love that. Uh, so do me a favor if you're interested, and uh, obviously uh, since uh, you know, our reps, our, our mentors are going to be talking to folks one on one. They don't have a lot of time in the day. And we know there's going to be a high demand because a lot of people have been emailing in asking for this off and on. So we're just going to formalize it. Click on the link uh, in, in this uh, email and fill out one of our trader surveys. And you can talk to one of our mentors over the phone. And he or she can map out, a, you know, figure out what your high picture, that high definition destination is that you want to be at a future point in time. And we're going to try and uh, empower you to get there. Okay, so fill out this trader survey so we can kind of have a, uh, a, a start point when we talk to you on the phone and, and map out a specific training program for you. Okay, we're only taking 30 folks because it's, uh, it, it's going to be packed just based on uh, the amount of people that contact us on a daily basis to speak with somebody to help them uh, develop a trading plan for them individually. So uh, fill it out. And uh, if everything looks good, we'll go ahead uh, and, and you'll let us know what a good time to call you is. And we'll, uh, we'll give you a call on the horn and map out a training plan with you. Okay. All right. Got to run. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, info on the jobs report, what it means to the markets. And uh, the, the clown car continues in Syria. And uh, we'll be talking about the Fed as well over at Wealth Creation Investing. Have a great weekend. And I'll be back with Tuesday's market sit rep here at Topkin Options. We'll see you.